Another improvement is we have improved the aileron hanger arms. This is the traditional Piper style hanger arm. It's cut from 4130 steel, bent up, welded and powder coated. And it has this aluminum block riveted into the end. We use the same style on our flap controls, but on our ailerons, we switched over. So now this aluminum block has a threaded hole in it and we use a rod end with a grease nipple on it. Pivots very nicely and it just makes the aileron controls that much freer. With your kit, you're going to get all your tail control surfaces required. You'll get one vertical rudder, sorry, one vertical fin, your rudder, two horizontal stabilizers, and two elevators. There's two pieces that go with the flap handle system. It has a little aluminum button on here that operates this cam mechanism that works on this detent that goes into your first stage, second stage, third stage. A little bit different than original Piper, the flap handle actually hangs on the sidewall of the aircraft where original Piper went across with a tube and joined onto the bottom of the front seat base. This thing just slides on. This cam goes in, slides in through there, goes in place, and then you have your different notches of flap. The kit comes standard with a door on the right side. You've got the option of our two-piece original cub split door where the bottom swings down and this portion swings up. We also make a single piece door which is made out of three-quarter inch aluminum square tubing and that entire door swings up. Either one you can fly with the door open in flight. You can see this particular airframe has a door on both sides. This is an option. It's uh, very nice to have that option if you're going to be on floats because if you're pulling up to a dock you can get out on either side of the aircraft. Moving back, this particular airframe has got the L21 style glass, meaning the top of the airframe from here to here on both styles you have glass roof on there or a skylight on the roof. When you get into the L21 style your glass carries on all the way back to this point here also comes all the way down so you have glass all the way around the rear passenger so visibility is excellent even the pilot can turn around and basically see the tail of the aircraft in flight the original style that Piper had was a C-frame side window so your fabric would start here back so you did not have the glass on the roof and on your side piece you had a C-frame window that came around roughly in this shape. We probably manufacture 50-50 the L21 and the C-frame. My personal preference is the L21 just because of the visibility and Piper did make both styles. Carrying on we have a baggage door opening. Standard with the kit you get one baggage door and we will locate that anywhere you want. As an option, you can get additional baggage doors. You can have another baggage door back here on either side of the aircraft. We can also make a baggage door up here in the upper deck, which is a nice location for smaller, lighter articles, sleeping bags, pillows, jackets, whichever. From that, this particular airframe has a little bit of a different seat style. Typically, you would have the traditional Piper Super Cub seat style. You'd have a, an individual front pedestal type seat base and then your back seat on here. This is a SQ2 style lower seat. One of the removal parts on the airframe is this tube located right here. We have two little tabs welded onto the airframe. In flight you want to install that that adds size stability to the airframe, but you can also remove it for loading and unloading the aircraft. Also, because we have extended baggage, our baggage compartment comes all the way back to here. So you're, you have a back wall here, and when you take the rear seat back, fold it forward, or pull it out of the way, there's enough length in here that you can sleep in the back of the aircraft. In this location, the original Pipers, had a diagonal tube that went from this corner 
all the way down to this corner. We have a dog leg in here now, which opens that up, makes it easier for getting into the back and sleeping in the back if you want to. And then, of course, this removable tube comes out. Just a handy feature for loading and sleeping, like I said. When Piper originally manufactured this type of aircraft, they did the front and the rear in two sections. The front portion, the long drones, main rails basically, top and bottom, were 3 quarter inch 4130 in the front. Then when they got to the back, they stepped it down to 5 eighths milder grade steel, and then they could actually make the two halves and it eased their manufacturing process. We do this all in one step now and we start from front all the way to the tail with 3 quarter inch 4130 chromoly. So everything in the aircraft as far as steel is all 4130. We have some popular Alaskan mods that we've incorporated into the aircraft. So up here in the top overhead we have an X brace in here. That adds a great deal of strength to the wing when you get any kind of side impact on the wing. We have added shoulder seatbelt harness attachment points. So we've got one here for the rear passenger. We've got one up here for the front passenger, which is a nice option. Um, when we get further back, original Piper had their tubes come down, come back up. We've added these little 3 8 tubes in here. They're just a stiffener that adds some extra support to the tail. When we get back into the tail section again, we've beefed up this area, increased some wall thicknesses, just to make it a more resilient aircraft. Another standard item that we have now, we've welded handles onto the side, which makes it much more convenient for maneuvering the aircraft on the ground, um, backing it into hangars, what have you. And another additional feature, right here, and we get farther up, we have float fittings. So for very little more, we can add float fittings onto the aircraft. And even if you don't use the float fittings now, it just adds to the resale value of the aircraft. Another item that we include when you get the float fitting options is right at the front, in this location and on the other side, we weld a bushing in here that's designed to accept a lift ring. So on the top of your glass, you can drill a tiny little hole in the plastic, drop in an eyelet, put a nut on the bottom, both sides, gives you a lifting point to lift the entire airframe up, take your gear off, transition over to the floats, drop it back down on the ground again, you can take your lift rings out and then put in a little rubber grommet to keep the rain out. Hopefully this video will have given you a bit better insight on the construction standards of our kit and how we've changed it over original Piper Super Cups. If you have any further questions please feel free to call me at 1-800-862-1276 or email me at info at turbancubs.com.